Hi, I'm Tori from BM Pro and today we'll be running through the Battery Plus 35 power management system with the Odyssey platform. This is a main part of a caravan power system. It's the power management system. This is a Battery Plus 35. We have a range of power systems, but this is our most popular. So the Battery Plus 35 allows you to charge from mains power, solar, and auxiliary from your tow vehicle with the help of a mini boost DC DC charger. It also includes 14 outputs that are either 10 and 15 amp and they're all resettable fuses. There's also a 40 amp uncontrolled output which needs to be separately fused which you can run your trail safe or your sway control through or any other appliance that's over 10 or 15 amps but under 40 amps. Three different screens that you can connect to your Odyssey platform or BP35 system. That's the Odyssey controller which communicates via Bluetooth and the Trek 3 and the RV View 2 which are connected to the Odyssey link via CAN. The Odyssey controller is a 7 inch touch screen and displays the most information and allows the most control out of any of the screens. Along the top here you've got your tank level indicator, you've got control of three light zones, two water pumps, a slide if you've got a slide out controlled and if you don't this can be turned off in the settings. You can also put your system into eco mode which will basically turn off all of the outputs except for output one. On, on the Battery Plus 35. And if you press Smart Connect, it takes you into the menu where you can connect various Bluetooth sensors, including temperature, gas bottle sensors, and tire pressure monitors. If you swipe up from the bottom, it will reveal all the battery data. This includes the battery current, the battery voltage, any charge sources that are listed here will light up in orange, and if it's solar or auxiliary, it will show you the charge current also. There's also loads, which are what's running through the 14 outputs of the Battery Plus 35. You can enter settings by pressing the settings button at the top. And here it goes through where you can change your water tanks from clean to dirty, and you can also rename them as well, if it makes it easier to understand which tank it relates to. You can also rename your lights, turn power saving mode on and off, although this does affect the Bluetooth connectivity. So just be mindful that if you turn power save mode on, it will disconnect Bluetooth when the screen turns off or goes to sleep. So you can adjust your sensor limits in the sensor settings page. You can also reset your external shunt, which resets all of the data that's stored on the shunt and will basically start your calculations all again. Also in settings, you can change your battery capacity to what the battery installation is and your battery profile, which is either lead acid or lithium. This ensures that you'll have the correct charging profile and state of charge algorithm. In customized view, you're able to turn on and off the display of any water tanks and also the slides if you're not using them. This is a Trek 3 display. This allows you to monitor your tank levels down the side here. There's an indication here for pump one and pump two. By pressing the water drop button, you can turn pump one off. By pressing and holding the water pump button, you can turn pump two off. It's the same for if you're turning them on. You've got your state of charge indication here and also a charge indication. So at the moment AC is connected and that's what we see at the top here. If the charging is from solar or auxiliary, you will see charge current here indicating what the source is. If you press the home button, it will take you into the menu. This is the setup menu where you can go through navigating with the arrows here through different settings, including battery capacity and battery chemistry. Once you find the setting that you want to change, you can press the edit button, which here is the battery button, and then use the up and down arrow to change the capacity setting. It's the same for all the other settings. To exit settings, you press the home button again and it will return back to the home screen. The RV View 2 is the most simple screen we have. It indicates the input or output current, the voltage. It has a very basic state of charge indicator as well as the source information. So this is showing it's connected to mains. The button at the side, it will go to the second screen, which is a tank level indication. This is a mini boost DC DC booster. It's designed to increase the voltage from your alternator so that it gives a proper charging current through the battery plus 35 system. This is a dipper water level sensor. It's designed for use with our Odyssey system and it also plugs into the back of the Trek 3 screen if you don't have an Odyssey link. It works on a pretty bit basic principle which is where if any of these are covered in water it indicates that level to the Odyssey or the Trek system and you can see it reflected on the screen. Quite commonly these get dirty from build up in the water and one of the most common issues that people have with them is when they're reading incorrectly because these little sensors are covered in either calcium build up or debris. It's a good idea every few months to take these out of your tank and clean them. You can clean them with a solution of vinegar or a small toothbrush to get all 
all the debris off. When removing them from the side of the tank, you simply unscrew this and pull the sensor out of the tank. It has a connector located close to this so you can easily disconnect it from the wiring. In the power information, it gives you an indication of the time remaining. This is directly linked to the state of charge of your battery, but it's not an exact calculation as it calculates to the low voltage disconnect level that's set in the system. The time remaining is linked to the state of charge of your battery, but it doesn't indicate to the full capacity of the battery, rather the low voltage disconnect level of the system. Recently, we released the Odyssey Link 105. This is a replacement for the Odyssey Link 104 and any previous Odyssey Links. They are quite similar in that the tank connections are in the top and the CAN connections are next to them. The main difference is that we've had a whip -in antenna installed here for increased Bluetooth range. This means that the slide out and the temperature wires have to move into the side and they can be unwired from your current Odyssey link and wired in here. So that was the Battery Plus 35, an Odyssey platform. We also have the Aspero system and X-Power systems if this system doesn't meet your needs. Feel free to contact us if you've got any questions on these.